Good afternoon, everybody. Jer here with another Wild Woman Wisdom. Uh, it's Monday, so it is the start of the week. So that means that it's a, an amazing day to make your dreams come true. Now, the topic I wanted to come on today to talk to you guys about is something called living your life in autopilot. So I'm sure you guys um, have friends, uh, you yourself have said, you know, oh, it's just another Monday, just another day, just another dollar, um, you know, just, just whatever it is, right? It's like, oh, just another day to, you know, go to work and, and, and do the exact same thing again. And, you know, you're coming home, you're not feeling alive, you're not feeling anything. So basically it just gets to be monotonous. It gets to be the exact same routine over and over and over again. And sometimes we fall into that lifestyle where nothing is really making us feel alive anymore, where we can't really taste tastes anymore. We can't really, uh, you know, we're not happy we're 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 just living and we're just following the ways of the world and it's not adding to our lives and making us feel exuberant or excited or alive and full of passion and you know you're not excited anymore right so at one point you know when you were trying to get that job or go to that school or you know get in that relationship you are like, oh my gosh, I need this. I need this in my life. This is gonna add so much to who I am. And then at some point we get bored or we, we basically lose our gratitude for the situation because it's like, oh, this is just something that I'm doing. I don't really care for it anymore. It's not challenging me. So that's what I mean by being an autopilot. You know, we can sometimes fall into that place and not really, uh, understand why it is that we did the thing or we just kind of outgrew it right so that can be relationships that could be anything that we're doing um so what i would challenge everybody to do is to instead of you know observing and looking at what you're doing and just think of things differently asking yourself questions like you know would i be doing this if i had the choice if i could kind of live this over again or maybe it's time for me to move on is this really you know adding to who i am is this challenging me is this making me feel like i want to you know share this with people and i'm going home at the end of the day and i'm like oh my god you know this happened to me today this is so exciting you know i learned this thing or i was able to you know help these people to overcome whatever it is and so that's basically what i do with my coaching with my clients i am able to uh pull out the magic from people and that's what i'm really good at doing is i can meet somebody and i'm a really good read of you know helping you to kind of get through your your blocks and your patterns and asking really helping to ask you why is it you do what you do? What is there something else you want to be doing? Is there something and really being an accountability coach to people that I'm working with. So that would be my question to all my viewers here. Uh, you guys join my lives. You guys uh, seem to enjoy the conversations that we have on here. But I also noticed that, you know, uh, after we get off the lives, I always ask the question. I prompt you guys to give me, you know, your uh, your guys' success stories, you guys to reach out to me, to um, ask me questions of how I can be improving myself, but nobody ever really does. And I'm like, okay, what's that about, right? So I would challenge you guys right here in the comments you guys are watching, Brittany, Janice, Hugo, you guys are a part of the live right now and so i want to be i want to ask you guys you know are you living your your life on autopilot or are you waking up monday morning ready fresh the week is new and you're just feeling excited by life you're like oh my goodness i get to get up today and i get to serve all these people and help them to really you know transform their lives and come alive again is that how you're feeling every single week or are you instead just kind of like oh i gotta go to this job and, and and do this thing and it's really not adding or changing ever it's just always the same it's constant it's always autopilot right it's like this right are you guys uh Crystal, Brittany, what are you guys noticing? Is that how it is for you guys? Or are you instead going to work feeling like, wow, this is incredible. Um, and this is, you know, I'm owning it and, I, and I'm making it be this way, right? So again, I want to ask you guys those questions. Are you living your life the way that you want? Are, you know, if you could have what you want to have, 
uh, like how how differently would you be living right that's the question that i wanted to be asking you guys um and and so understanding that you know even with my life and the clients that i'm working with the difference is is that we are streamlining and we are identifying what it is that you truly want because i think for a lot of us we don't really understand what it is that we want really what brings us alive so we're just leaving it to chance right and so when you streamline and really strategize your life based on you know these are the things that are making me feel good these are the things that i'm are, i'm wanting to do in this life then we are able to um identify them streamline them make them a priority in our life and really achieve them right um, and not leaving it to chance because that's sometimes what happens is if we are not making those things really clear to ourselves, you know, I want this job because it loans itself to me and I get to be around all these incredible people or I want to be in that relationship with that person because they really help me to feel safe. They help me feel secure, all of those different things. And it's asking those questions. What is it that I actually want? Is this what I want? And like being being where you are right now, is that what you actually want? Or are you just living life through autopilot and just doing it because you don't think you deserve better or you don't think that it's too hard to break the cycle? It's too hard to go looking again. It's too hard to start dating again. It's too hard to, you know, go back to school or to find new skills and, and all of that stuff. Is that stuff stopping you from really, uh, starting new projects, looking at new things, looking at a move, looking at, you know, um, I find that a lot of people, uh, they like to make excuses for, you know, where they are. And it's like, oh, well, you know, I don't have time or, oh, I don't have money or whatever it is. But when somebody really wants something, when somebody really wants change, they're gonna do whatever it takes to make that thing happen. So is it a matter of you not showing up for yourself and you not honoring what it is that you actually want? Because if you actually wanted it, wouldn't you do everything in your power to make it happen? And so that is my question for everybody here, is if you were to show up for yourself and to really listen, would you be still doing what it is that you're doing right now, right? Um, and it's also understanding that the parts inside of us that are uncomfortable, those sides that are weak or they need that little bit of, you know, tender loving care or it's like, well, I don't really know how to find a job. I don't really know how, what's required. I don't know how to go about, you know, moving or, you know, um, up leveling or, you know, finding a relationship. I don't know where to find, you know, to go out on a date or whatever it is then those are the areas where you should be really focusing your time and attention on because that is what's going to make the difference for you, right? So again, it, it's it's being strategic with the things that you're wanting to have and, um, you know, really understanding that, you know, life is to be lived in fear. Life is to feel scared and still do it and just go, right? I think that's one of the greatest things about me is that I'm able to, uh, if something scares me, I'm excited. I'm like, yes, it makes me feel alive. That's the way that I should be living. And if I feel safe, if I feel calm, I'm like, nah, I'm gonna do something else that's a little more scary, right? Because that's the way that I have been able to achieve and do the things that I've been able to is because if it's really scary, then I know it's going to be great. It's gonna have the results that I want them, that I want from them. And that's how I uh, work with my clients is I, I see them where they are. I help them to identify, well, what is it that you actually want, right? And I hold their vision higher for them to be able to see that this is where you want it to be. So when you know you get in that place, you're like, well, I don't know anymore. This is scary. I don't know if it's too hard. It's like, hey, you wanted this, right? So let's do it. And you have that constant support um, there to help you to really get there, right? Um, the second thing is to... Um, I guess I, I didn't say that I was breaking this down, but it's understanding, you know, why is it that you want the thing? Second is um, understanding how you've contributed to you not having those things, right? So just being really truthful with yourself and being like, okay, so if I didn't do that, if I didn't procrastinate, if I didn't, if I actually believe that I could have that thing, if I showed up for myself and held myself accountable and said, you know, I've been taking this course this long because I thought I wanted this bachelor of whatever it is that was gonna make me make more money and it was gonna make me have more freedom, all of those different things. And now I'm just like, oh, you know, I'm almost done, I'm almost there. And it's like, okay, so why have I done this to myself? What is it that I'm trying to accomplish here, right? And it's just reminding, it's just being aware of it so you can really push yourself through the last bit of it. Um, and then of course, being honest with yourself, right? So. 
really looking at it and strategizing and being like, okay, well, if I'm actually saying that I want this thing, uh, you have to put the work in, right? So, um, how much, how much are you willing to put into the, the, the work, the, the, the outcome that you're wanting to achieve, right? Are you willing to do the work? Are you willing to wake up at 6 a.m. and research and connect with all these people and looking silly, right? Um, are you willing to do whatever it takes to have that thing? right? So that's what we work on with the Wild Woman program. If that is something that uh, you see yourself um, identifying, if you see this as something that is going to, you know, help to transform your life, then I would love to have a conversation with you. And again, I always say this on all of my lives, what do you guys want me to talk about? Because again, I can go on and on about, you know, this professional development stuff, because that's the world that I live in, right? So um, I'm always about growing, getting better, helping people. That's my biggest thing is, you know, if I can really reach out to you. Hey, Darren, Rhonda, um, and you guys are watching these lives and you're like, yes, yeah, she's talking to me. She is making me feel heard and seen and she understands what I'm talking about. You know, it's never too late to start a new job. It's never too late to, you know, start a new relationship. It's never too late to earn the money and create the life that you desire. It's, there's no such thing as not you know, time's running out or whatever it is that, you know, we make excuses for. That's not true at all. It's just basically what you subscribe to and what you want your life to be. I know myself, I have huge dreams, huge, huge, humongous dreams. Um, and that's how I've always been. And, and I, the reason I've been that way is because I just believe that, you know, I have a higher purpose and, and building a legacy and building, you know, having an empire is something that's really important to me. So I work day in and out for that thing. And that is the reason why I do what I do, which is to help people to also accomplish their dreams. I'm, that's what I'm really good at, is really pulling out the magic out of people and helping them to understand why is it that I actually want that, right? So um, working with uh, business clients, I'm able to help them strategize their business, really put the steps in forward for them to accomplish them. I'm a really big cheerleader for people and I really, like to hold people accountable to uh, you know what they set out for themselves. So that's the, the best thing about me. Um, and that's what I really implement with my uh, coaching, which is a transformational journey for you to finding yourself and to honoring your voice. So when I'm saying, stop living in autopilot, you know, do you right there, you watching this, the video right now, do you, you know, ever ask yourself, I could be, I could have more, I could do more, I could be more. Is this, is this my soul's purpose, you know? Or would I be doing something differently? And if that is the truth, then reach out to me because I would love to help that come to life for you. And I would love to help you with that stuff. Um, and all you gotta do is, you know, be willing to ask for help. Um, so I hope that you guys uh, like the content today. And again, if you guys have questions or concerns, reach out to me, I'm here for you. Um, you know, stop living your life on autopilot and start really living and showing up for yourself and, 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 and honoring your word to yourself because that's gonna make the biggest difference in your life. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for joining. I'll talk to you again soon, bye.